Hi everyone, my name is Rice, and welcome back to Light Eat. Now, last time, I remember we said we we're gonna look for a liar, but what liar that is, I don't know. Maybe this liar, because for some reason, apparently, everyone just believes that there are no vampires here, and that they're obviously vampires. Oh, yes, this is correct. Yawn. Oh, excuse me, it's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I'd like to talk some. Is now alright? Oh, yes, yeah, so that brain might be a bit slow if you insist, Detective. Detective, Leo's a scam. Good. Now then, I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you can tell what happened after you heard the scream. Ah! Grr. Last night I was reading, and then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so. Grr. I heard a scream which woke me up, then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. Would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after you take care of this. Hmm, he smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes and remember what you've heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because I'll never progress from idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense, I'll do my best. Okay, so hold on. Where are the... Notes. Is it an I No, stop. Is it in items? Big liar. No, no. Whoa, okay. No, okay. No blood, just juice. Ah. Ah, okay, so he said that he did say he went outside. Okay, so... Truth. Didn't go out. There's the lie. Wait, no, no. You use your skill of knife, and you just attack. Ow. Oh, sweet. Okay, Leo increasing level and Effie increasing level. I just nodded off. Truth. It was dangerous. Truth. Okay, maybe that's it. Um. Stun gun. Um. Okay, apparently a knife is what I need to use. Come on. Okay. Okay, so that was the lie. The wolf is dangerous. Or, wait, what? Why didn't it just disappear after the. Anyways, last night your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was a quiet type who rarely spoke. But you did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems it was you who told her not to talk or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there was really no wolf, is there? So then why? Oh, because both of them are lies, okay. Since it's dangerous outside, especially when strangers are in town. Haven't you seen someone attack yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing, nor to tell her about it. So about this vampire legend, you said you didn't know about it. But a book in the library had information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seems to be one jail rigfire. A relative of yours, surely. And in this photo, an addition to Mr. Gile, was you and your sister, with your names written on the back as well. You also evidently told your sister that there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name, so the legend, it's real. Certainly we are descendants of that vampire family. You don't freaking say, I figured it out in the first episode, and... Shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly? Huh? What do you mean by... Because it's a dark night tonight. Effie. Wait, what? Oh. Eh. Yeah. Leo? He used those same things the informant girl had. Where did he go? Oh, he used love berries on us. I saw him go outside. He was really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine, but feathers might be in danger. Hip, bit, 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 bit. Get out of there. Locks busted. Seems sturdy. What the? Can't feel like he's done this before, huh? Hey, lend me that. Huh? That's my collar. That juice stuff is making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez. When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay. Alright, there's just... Okay. Simple fix, I suppose. 
If the captain can meet up with feathers, that'd give me some relief, but I wonder if there's any other exits. Yes, there was one. There's a door I haven't gone through up here just yet. Really, it's just gonna be absolutely nothing. Okay. Still nothing. Maybe a secret passageway here behind the lopsided mirror. Eh. Off kilter. Eh. Come on. Okay, really, you're not going to try to get out of a window when you're trapped in here? Really? That's not what you are going to try to do? Okay, that's locked. Rachel. Oh, Rachel, that was her name. Okay. I totally forgot it. Well, what? A book with a bookmark. What's he been reading? How to Kill Vampires. Drive a stake in their heart, cut off their head. I think that's a book Keith was reading. What's the meaning of this? Maybe there'd be something in his room, too. Okay. Um, here's a book. The bookmark. Hmm. Book about vampires, too. Vampires are weak against sunlight. Is this true? Seems it hurts them a bunch. But hold on. When I first met him, what a liar we've got right here. If my guess is right. Is his sister Rachel all right? Uh, well, he told her not to leave when strangers are around, so she's never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Okay. Not sure what exactly. I mean, we know that they're basically vampires now. Don't. You're going to scare the heck out of Rachel. Rachel, hey, I want to talk. No good. Is she asleep? There might not be much time. Oh. Hmm? Overflowing with lies. Can't keep them under control anymore. A, a flood of lies? When you're driven by lies, things get annoying. If they're overflowing, I got to get rid of them. I got to eat them. Leva. That's kind of weird. Oh, I don't have any more SP. Poop. Well, hopefully I can level up soon and get it back. Jev. What? Jev. Okay, I thought I said Jew. I was like, that's weird. Wait, so leveling up doesn't recover all of your spirit points? Your special points or whatever? These are some weak little lies anyway. All cleaned up? Mm hmm? What's this? A key for somewhere, I guess? And what rooms are locked? Hey Leo, you won't die on me, will you? What's this all of a sudden? If you did die, I'd... Listen, just shut up and fall behind me. As for the rest, I'll protect you. Hmm. What was that sound? That one's a mess. Don't bother with that one. Try and avoid it. Okay, um, hold on. Do I have anything that can re recover SP? Uh, apparently not. Oh, whoop. Oh, oh, whoop. It's unlocked. Okay, that was simple enough. Pages torn out of that book. For each generation, the vampire blood in our family is weakened, but there is a small chance of offspring being born with denser vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable, and they may attack people without realizing. Existing with humans is a difficult prospect. And thus, since moving to this town, rule has been established to do away with such children if one is born. Two children were born to us, and one of them was born with a higher concentration of vampire blood. Was it Rachel? The powers have not awakened, but it can't be long until then. But I couldn't lay a hand on my child. My wife, too, perished upon birthing the second child, so I don't want to lose any more. Tomorrow I'll hold a discussion with the humans of the town. It's a dark night tonight. So one of them has awakened as a vampire, but the other is fine. Then one of the siblings on, nah, then only one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood? On the other hand, one of them has to suck blood to live. And maybe they did, by attacking all of the prior townspeople and animals. Eh? Captain's orders, I'm here to save you. Where'd you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon, duh. It allows me to generally ignore physical obstacles. Hey, Vice Captain, should a girl be in this mansion? Any idea about her? A girl? This is the last room I've checked, and all I've found is you two. Rachel's not here? Where's the captain? He evacuated the, inform the informant and her assistant, then went to patrol outside. Sounds dangerous. Hey, what were you mumbling on about? Get us outside quick. After that, I want to go guard the informant. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what do your orders mean to me? Mr. Brett, please, just this once. 
you better catch him. Or her. We're out. Listen, it's not like I'm lending you a hand. I'll go to the informant and check for the captain. Thanks, you're a real help. It's a whole mess of truth and lies. A bunch of bad, hazy feelings. We gotta do something about this quick. Eh. Okay. Va. I guess you're a lie, I don't know. Sweet. I can't eat the whole thing. Okay. This is a really big lie. Ooh. Oh, crap. So that's why I need to avoid them. Eh. Oh man, if he's about to faint. And ah, so is Leo. Crap. Okay, item. Wait, no. You. Just attack and you. Use a cherry candy. Ah, crap. No, no, ah. Yeah. And there it goes. Well, poop. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and yeah, crap. Ugh, okay. But I saved up my skills. Triple knife. Wait, no. Just knife. And you. Breathe fire. Increase strength. Protect. I'll just breathe some fire. Eh. Fingers crossed. Ow. Ow. Why are all of you just so much faster than me? Oh wow, that royally sucked. Um. Dragon Eye. cherry candy. See, I don't think there was any way I could have beaten that. Eh, okay. Okay. Gotta go after the stronger ones. Okay, eh. Ow. Ow. Okay, sweet. No, 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 no. Fill enough with them, and then... Okay. I'm about to get this. I can do this. Yes. I can do this. Okay. Skill. Throw a knife at you. Just attack a different one. Sweet. Ah, dang it. They're all... Okay, you attack that one, you attack that one. And that should be good. Okay, yes, okay. See, I don't think there was a way I could have avoided that, but anyways. Okay, just heal y'all. Okay, we're good. So we just gotta avoid those guys. Maybe go up here? That's my first guess. Ooh, what the? It's... Almost had to pull it back and light it for a second. Oh, it's a lamp, I guess. Or a lantern. Ooh. That's not a lantern. Captain! Is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's... No, I don't. Mr. Captain! Hmm. Okay, good, you're alive. Yeah, is that... I really hope that's love berry juice. This sensation. Looks like I died. Morning, Captain. Blood wasn't sucked. Hmm. They do say dragon blood doesn't taste very good. Good to know. Uh, Mr. Captain, are you a ghost? Spirit. Zombie! I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal? He can't die, this guy. Stab him, cook him, put him in the stew. Just like potatoes. Can't die. But he just survived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. Luna attacked me. It was that girl. I was caught completely unawares then, well, as you see. After that, she ran further down, then suddenly collapsed. And then another one. Leave the rest to us. Eh? But we're the experts from here on out, you see. Let me rest here a bit. Anything happens, I'll be right there. Eh, yeah. he's just gonna sleep. Still got the knife in him. 
Let's go, Effie. Huh? Okay, well anyways, that's about all the time I have left for this episode. I believe the next episode will be the last episode of part one. That remains to be seen, but okay, so I'm glad people stopped being stupid and are now finally as, oh yeah, 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 these are definitely vampires in. But I was surprised though that turns out that Rachel is the main vampire and not Keith. I mean, that should have been obvious because Keith is outside, but eh, sometimes you just overlook things like that. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out a lot. If you have suggestions for other games for me to play, let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next Vice of Virtues. Catch y'all later.